Hey y'all, this is a more slightly special one than I do normally. Um, this one is on something that's sort of controversial in the world right now. Um, religion. And all my experiences and... You know, beliefs on it and all that. Um, well, first off, I'll start off with um, the timeline of religions I've been in. Or been a part of. Um, I was born a Christian. Um, and that lasted for a very long time. I was a devoted, like a full-on devoted Christian, like praying every um, night, sometimes morning, um, to about year seven. Then, I don't know, I just started, just started losing interest in it because I just felt like, because I was at a Christian primary school and high school, like, I just felt like they kept on cramming all their beliefs down my throat and into my brain, I don't know, just, that didn't make sense, trying to, you know, like brainwash me, I don't know, it just turned me off the religion and, I don't know, just certain aspects of the religion just turned me off it. Um, after that, I, um, I was actually believing in the old Greek gods, believe it or not, um, I don't know, that lasted for like a few weeks, and, um, what was that? I don't know, then it sort of just drifted for a while. And, um, what else? Oh, yeah, um, I had a, like, a sort of... Or rather, like, a month or two of worshipping, um, Satanism, spiritual Satanism, though. It's not... It's not the Levain stuff that I always thought Levain. Anton Levain. Yeah, no. He never did it for me. He was a piece of shit. Sorry for anyone if I offended. Um, but yeah, spirituality. I know it's like it's more. It's probably the most peaceful and like inner self sort of thing out of all the Satanism, um, sex and all that. So yeah, that lasted for a while. Um, I eventually got off that. Um, I was a druid for a tiny bit. You know, just worshiping nature and trees and that. That didn't last very long. And, oh yeah, I remember when I was young, uh, Warhammer 40k, 40,000, I don't know if any of you played the Chaos Gods, I remember, I did that for a while, but yeah, I don't know, I, I've always really been interested in religion and, you know, just research and shit, and different stuff, at the moment, I don't know what I believe, I know, I believe that there's something up there of things, all different things, many gods, one god, goddesses, in the middle, Hermaphrodite, I don't know. But, yeah, I believe some of that. I don't know what. At the moment, I believe in myself. Actually, I believe in Custard. I worship Custard. So, yeah. Um, so, that's what I believe in at the moment. Um, I don't believe this whole 2012 thing is going to happen. I think it's stupid. Yeah. Um, let's see. Alright. Yeah, um, my likes and dislikes on religion... The stuff, sacrificing of either humans or animals, I just find that incredibly stupid, and it just put really puts me off, and yeah, just angers me. Um, religions that tell you to inflict pain onto others, like Christ, like Christians with um, no, oh, the Catholic, not Christian, because Christian is the whole thing, but yeah, um. The Catholic Church, I think it was, launching crusades. I didn't like that. That's that's just silly. You just shared the homeland. Um, Muslims, um, well, certain Islamic groups launching jihads and fatwas. Uh, no, just any sort of holy wars, like the whole thing going on in Europe ages ago with the Protestants and the Catholics, like. A huge European Civil War type thing. War of the Roses. Oh no, that wasn't. No. Yeah. Um, just any sort of holy wars. I just find it stupid fighting over your religion. It's kind of going back on what most of the religion's beliefs are. Um, it's Religion has also held back a lot of technology. You know, they're saying, oh, it's the work of the devil, it's black magic. So they burn them, burn the scientists. Um, I reckon if it wasn't for religion, we would be really far ahead in technology, like early stage, like I reckon we'll, I don't know, 
driven cars like 200 years earlier or something. I don't know. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, back with the Holy Wars and everything, it's sort of. It can bring people apart. Like, say, one family. This happened to mine. Um, you get all Christians, right? And then you got some worshipping, like, say, Islam. That's. Like, yeah, so one kid in the family is uh, Islamic, and another one, all the rest are Christian. That could create some conflict, and, you know, like getting kicked out of the house and getting yelled at and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's just. It's a downfall of religion, that one is. The good thing, though, though, is um, it gives a lot of people hope. Like, it gives them something to fight on for, like, for life. Um, gives people good values, I guess, like, good things to live up towards, in a way. Like, say, I don't know, say religious laws. Say, I don't know. Don't, you know, don't go murdering people. So, you know, they don't want to please their God, so they don't murder people, which is good for the society, because, you know, you don't want murders. Um, nah, but you don't. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, that's all my views. Um, I asked some people to give me some questions and that on the whole religion. Um, from Cecilia Sagrove, summarise the entire Bible. I did read it at once, can't remember much of it, pretty much. Old mate saves a lot of animals, so that's what we've got currently. All the animals now. A lot of incest. Um... Uh, pretty much the ten original laws brought down from V.D. McGee, down from Mount S Sire. I don't know. I can't remember much of the Old Testament much, but the New Testament. Uh, guy saying he's the savior or the prophet um, of the Christian religion, not the Jewish religion actually. Um, yeah, saying he's a saviour and helping everyone out and to believe in God. But when he died, he created a whole new religion, which I don't think if that's what he was meant to do. Um, but he gave a lot of good look, people good values and built a lot among the structures that we have in a lot of Western civilizations today. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's answered your thing, Cecilia. wasn't very good, I'm sorry. Um, last question, X Metalhead XD. Hey, do you think God's a bad guy because he seems cool? It's just people say he hates gays and can be friends with Jews. No, can't be friends with Jews. Um, first of all, I don't think anywhere in the New Testament um, it said don't be friends with Jews or do not like Jews because, you know, the origins of Christianity is pretty much Jewish. So, I'm... I don't think um, the Christian God ever said that. You can't, because, you know, they're pretty much worshipping the same God. Um, he hates gays. Now, that's another thing. Any religion that, like, puts down people's, like, likes or dislikes, um, yeah. like, um, sexual preferences, that's a big no-no for me. Any religion that puts down that, out of there. So, yeah, um... And I just really dislike that and it just pisses me off, you know? It's no good. Um, so, I'm assuming Metalhead, you mean the Christian God, because, you know, I'm g it's just a wild guess. But, yeah, I'm assuming you're Catholic, Christian, Protestant. Um, um, um the Christian God's a bad guy. I don't know, it's like asking if any God's a bad guy. Is devil the bad guy? Because he's the Christian devil or the Islamic. Are they bad guys? Because they're just doing their job. You know, unless they're launching wars. Like, they started a war with the heaven of that religion. Then, uh, they might be a bad guy. Yeah, that's, that's no good. But any God that's like, Go out and kill, you son of a bitches. That's a bad God. That's a, that's a no-no God. So yeah, hopefully this, wow, almost 10 minutes. Hopefully this wasn't too boring and all over the place. Um, didn't really struck this st structure this very well. Pimples piss me off. You can't really see because I'm chucking on some foundation. Um, I'm sorry this was so boring. Exactly 